and following the, the best of our uh, nature and the one uh, what's best for our communities. And the, the information that we got here tonight and this this evening uh, uh, is uh, is it's, it's evident that that um, we have a big challenge ahead of us as a community, as yes, a people, yes. and uh, as uh, you know, people claiming to follow the the legacy and the, the work that the founders of our community, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, Imam Wadi Muhammad, that our work is big, and uh, and I always think to myself, you know, the numbers that we have scattered about, and the you know, where's where does our real problem or where where the major challenges lie, you know, and uh, and it, it couldn't have been it couldn't have been put in words better. That's right. And uh, and but but the big question is uh, how can our intentions be so pure and the work that we do that have such wealth of knowledge and we have the Quran and the Son of yes. Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and we have great leaders behind us and we're all witnesses to Allah's work and His mercy in our lives. And uh, and the, the situation of us being a, a community that's divided and has a difficult time getting a, a footing towards the progression and the success that we want to achieve, you know, uh, why did, why is that always just there, just looming above us, you know? And most of us know it. It's uh, the schemes of Satan, like the brother was talking about, the schemes of Satan that we continue to fall uh, victim of to the many traps that they're mostly uh, due to materialism yes. and mostly when you go back to the root of what uh, what created us as a people was the plantations yes. like that was mentioned and I don't I'm trying to say words he gave me a compliment earlier Imam and uh, mentioned that I don't waste words and right now I'm really trying hard not to waste <laughs> wasting the words because I know it's late and I've been here much longer than I'm sure many of us expect to be here uh, but when I look at our beginnings on the plantations of slaves here uh, um, I'm looking at that being the uh, the cause I, I lost track of it. I, I get distracted. I got too many words that I'm trying to. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. The the the, the real issue of us, um, our worth as a people, and where we come from, uh, is looming there. And uh, the reason the reason why is our beginnings. I got back where I was. I, I have to do is remember my father because this is this is another reason. And uh, that I saw as being the path. Allah will guide you if you're sincere. If you're sincere and you trust Allah and you believe in Allah, then He'll show you the path. And so I saw as, as, as I didn't do anything different than what I know my father did uh, when he was uh, given the, the mission to continue the work of his father and to promote Islam and to, to be an imam, a leader. Uh, is to look for what is best and what Allah would be uh, pleased with, what you believe is the best path. And we witnessed today, wow. Imam Muhammad is not forgotten. That's right. That's right. His yes, work sir. and his uh, the, right. the many jewels and the, the great uh, valuable wisdom he extracted from the Quran and, the, and his studies. Uh, and most of his studies were on his own. He picked up the Quran. He picked up the Bible. He studied uh, Allah's creation, and uh, and the, the, much of the work that he's done, it lives in us. That's right. So uh, I saw, I could see that that was the path for the, the future of Imam Muhammad, and not just as his son, looking at him saying, "I'm I'm not ready for Daddy to, to go. He's not gone." Uh, that a lot of that is there. That's motivation, you know. But I said, uh, you know, as far as I'm concerned, his work isn't done. That's right. And the work and the, the seeds that he planted and the, and the job that he had is such a vast job that uh, there's no way one person could pick up where he left off and keep it in the direction it needed to go. It's, it takes all of us. I've been saying this over and over again and as many times, but it, it literally is going to take each individual. And uh, uh, not to get too far off track of where I was headed, the uh, 
the the issue of of race of uh, slavery was um, economics. That's right. Free labor. That's right. Could you imagine? Could could you imagine uh, getting wealthy? That's why the lotto is so popular. I heard a, n a number that just was insane. It was astronomical. The lottery, yeah. the, the lotto was out there last week. I think they found the people that won it. Yeah. And and I thought to myself, with the mentality that we have, uh, it's no wonder many people go out and, and play the lottery uh, because of the prospect of receiving wealth, becoming wealthy, without having to do any work or make any effort for it. So that's what slavery was about. It was about free labor. And uh, and the wealthy and the people design, making uh, the wrong moral uh, decision to, to pursue the wealth without uh, Allah's guidance yes. and the pursuit of wealth that, that, uh, that they're not deserving of. So we have a we have a really big big challenge, and the, the only answer, as I uh, stated earlier, that Imam Muhammad and I. Uh, I'm like that person that uh, Imam Muhammad was instructing. Uh, I think Imam said it earlier that uh, would, even if I didn't understand what Imam Muhammad was instructing me to do, that I trusted enough right. that I would give it to my child or my that's baby, right. Right. and I would pass it on until I understood it better. That's right. that's, oh, right. that's right. because he his uh, his sincerity and his method and uh, his the mercy of Allah has proven itself uh, before me. So. Uh, the, uh, the the issue that we're dealing with is that we're in a society uh, hey, you, may, you don't talk about it uh, a lot of times but, and we're, we live in a society that's all material that has lost this, uh, its uh, spiritual grounding and uh, everything is ruled by materialism and so so the so, so what we're fighting what we're up against uh for people that don't see the value of, uh, of faith and the value of uh, uh, having a spiritual life and, and having a lie as your guide and trusting your, your nature, that we know that that nature is there, but it's suppressed. And, uh, and it's not so much uh, that it's suppressed in the, the youth and the family members and the, the people, the Af us as an African-American people, uh, but it's... Um, is something that we have uh, have witnessed a lot of fa personal failures in our life in trying to attack and deal with these these issues because you know you tell the child say well you shouldn't go after that life this is the most important life then how am I going to I'm a biological creature I need this and that materialism so how am I going to separate myself from this material world and then our fear Satan steps in and our fears of uh, misguiding our children or our, our loved ones hurting their feelings or, or not seeing them have the best of, of, uh, opportunities that they might have causes us to take a step back. And uh, I said this before, I hope nobody's insulted by it, but I still believe that our biggest issue is the lack of faith. That our faith is not what mm, sincere mm. enough, and it's not true mm. enough, that we say what we don't really mean and we say what we don't really believe in because we're afraid to test our own faith and our own yes, belief. Sir. And Islam doesn't ask us to do anything that we should fear at all. That's right. That's right. So right. until we give ourselves completely and wholly to Allah, to Allah's guidance, and, and not just guidance in the book or Arabic or whatever uh, lessons you, you may get, but the guidance that he gives you when you wake up, when you feel your, your consciousness, when you wake up the first thing in the morning and you say, Allahu Akbar, the guidance that Allah, that starts with the conscious awareness of your existence every time you, you uh, wake up in the morning, that Allah should be first and foremost, and your mind should be on, rather, uh, on serving Allah to the best of your ability, and any material gain or loss should, should never come into play. You know, the whole world, I don't know how most of I know a lot of us was raised this way. When I came up in the community, uh, my faith was, uh, I, I, I drew, drew my faith from the believers that I, I was that's witness it. to. That's that's right. Right. And I knew that we didn't put anything right. before Allah. Yes, and that if, if your life was to stop, Allah would, if your last heartbeat 
would be caused by you.